Hello everyone, Jeremy here from CyberPower PC, and today we're going to be talking about two different installations and removal guides. One is going to be for the Intel CPU, and the other is going to be for the AMD CPU. As you know, that both of these products are different in the sense that one, the AMD CPU actually has pins on the actual CPU, and we'll get to talking about that later. And on the Intel, the CPUs are actually on the board, so we're going to be talking about different ways to remove these CPUs as well as protect them so that way you don't mess up any of the pins on the board or on the CPU. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one we're gonna start off with is we're gonna start off with the Intel, but there are a couple things that you should get. One of them being a towel, um, just to wipe off any excess thermal paste that, it, that the CPU may have. But if you're not gonna do that, then it's good to have some like cardboard or something where you can place the CPU face down so you don't get it on your desk or wherever you're working at. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get your motherboard it's best to take the motherboard out of the case um, instead of doing it with the motherboard inside. But if you are gonna do it with the motherboard inside, make sure you lay down your computer on its side. Obviously, we don't have a computer on set here, uh, so we just have the motherboards already taken out. So now what you're gonna do is look for the CPU. So most of the time, it would be covered with some sort of CPU cooler. Um, as you can see, we already have this removed. We are making another video for CPU fan removals for both AMD and Intel. Um, there's a little tab right here. You're just gonna press down and pull it out. So now what you can do is you can just go ahead and take it out. I'm trying to be careful so that way I don't get thermal paste on my fingers. And there you have your CPU. Intel CPU, very easy to remove. On the back of an Intel CPU, you don't have any pins. And then once I take out the AMD CPU, you'll see what I'm talking about. But the pins are actually on the CPU socket. So most of the time when you receive our systems or if you built your own, it's really good to keep the little CPU cover from the motherboard um, just because if you do need to take off the CPU, if you do need to take off the CPU, it's good to just place that cover on so that way you don't mess up any of the pins on the board. Uh, so anyway, so now we have the CPU out. And like I said, it's really good to have somewhere to put it right there, boom, you wanna put it with the backside facing upward. Now for the installation, it's literally backwards. Um, there are a couple things that you do need to recognize on your CPU. So obviously our CPU is covered with thermal paste, so we don't really know which side is right side up, right? You can't see the words or anything like that. But one way to know which way to put it is actually on the CPU arrow on one of the corners. And you can see actually on this metal cover here, there's a nice little arrow indentation right here. So we're gonna be putting the arrow in this bottom right corner. When you open up your CPU, you're gonna do the same thing. You just press down and drop it in very carefully. Boop, it's in. So you notice that the arrow is here. Then just gonna go ahead and plop the cover down and push down and that's it. Now it's in place. So we're gonna go ahead and set this motherboard a little off to the side here. We're gonna do the same thing with the AMD CPU. Now the only thing you have to be careful with is the CPU actually has pins on the backside and I will show you guys that right now. Uh, it's the same process where you just locate the little um, lever here and now you're just gonna go ahead and press down and pull it off to the side or drop it down. So there you go, and you just pull it up. And you can see on this CPU we have pins on the back of it so you wanna be very careful. So now that we have the CPU removed, unlike the Intel motherboard, it doesn't come with the CPU socket just because there are no pins on the board. Um, so don't worry about trying to find a cover of some sort. Uh, it's totally fine the way it is. And then go ahead and get your CPU again or a new CPU or whatever CPU that you're gonna be working with with the same motherboard. And you're just gonna go ahead and find the arrow on it. Um, so you're just gonna find the arrow on the motherboard. There's an indented little engraved uh, arrow. Press down on the lever, pull up, and then drop it down. So I like to press down, not hard, like I'm not pressing really hard, I'm just holding it firmly so that way when I do pull this lever down, it doesn't like pop the CPU up because that does happen sometimes and the pins don't actually get all the way in. And now you have your AMD CPU inside your motherboard and you're all set to go. So a very quick little tutorial on how to remove CPUs out of the motherboard. Very easy, very quick. Um, of course, be careful always. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact our customer service. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this resolved any issues that you were having. Make sure you check us out on all of our social media and check out our website if you wanna build your own system. Um, but this is Jeremy from CyberPowerPC signing off. Catch you next time. Peace.